I started seven years ago, um, basically when I, when I met Liam. I had a sort of public service background, worked in Parliament for a number of years as a press secretary and um, and I guess more often than not I was behind the camera and, and not sort of having to be in front of it. But we, I guess, dipped our toes into the retail business uh, through our online store and we very much became an online business at a time when most fashion brands were focused on bricks and mortar. We always knew that we wanted to go into retail and we spent about a year um, working through all of the possible um, variations of how that might play out for us. Um, and when we went in with the Gorilla Store, we knew what the plan B and C and D looked like. Um, and we knew what the expansion plan was. And we really set that vision in place there. And when we opened the doors of a pop-up shop on the first floor of an antique store, we never expected um, the kind of reaction that we had. To me, the business changed overnight. Learning about all of the different components that it's required to, to, to run a business is a massive learning curve, and, and I'm not sure that that ever really ends. We're very lucky in New Zealand because there is a huge amount of creative freedom, um, and I guess explore things that maybe um, larger companies or in other countries, the amount of investment you would need to get started almost stifles that creativity. Um, so there's been a huge amount of freedom for us to really develop that creative side of the business. And it's absolutely critical to what we do to be 98% um, creative and 2% and practical. We've worked really hard to develop a whole lot of relationships with New Zealand suppliers and for us New Zealand leathers and furs are brand hallmarks, they're what people expect of our brand. So for example our main leather suppliers in the South Island, that, that relationship was, was born from initially Liam's contact with them but also developed by the fact that um, one of our key people there went to school with my sister. And, um, and you know, that's the beauty of, of, of operating a business in New Zealand is that that relationship is not just a business relationship and often, often it's a personal relationship. What is the quality of the product? How long is that going to last? Um, how much do you look after the people that you employ? All of those things kind of cover what I encompass to be sustainability. Ultimately for Deadly Ponies it comes down to operating a business that looks after its people um, and produces a really qual high quality product. I mean, I think it's easy to start a business. Um, I think the hard graft is around about three to five years. Um, five to seven years is where you need to start saying, it's about time we, we turned this into something or gave up. <laughs> and, and, you know, for us in our situation, you know, the last three years has been quite transformative. Um, but I really feel like we've put in the groundwork early on. We've managed to develop materials that really become signature to our brand. And I, I believe and I'm certainly hopeful that that would stand up um, against any product anywhere in the world. So for New Zealand brands to be able to take on the world, uh, the, the barriers are far less today than they've ever been before. Building a really strong team uh, has been critical to growing the business and, and like any business and anybody would anyone in my position would say the same thing you have to have amazing people around you um, the key driver for me has always been building a team around me and around us um, that has the skills um, or with skills are lacking the passion um, to to drive the business forward you know, that, that whole tall poppy thing in New Zealand is a real it, I mean, I went to school in Geraldine. Coming from a small town in New Zealand, it, it's very, very hard. You almost, um, not hard coming from a small town in New Zealand, it's amazing coming from a small town in New Zealand, but you certainly um, are taught not to, um, to dream um, and not to dream big. And, um, and I think that that's what holds New Zealanders back. And I think dreaming big is what, is what could make us great. Maybe that's where New Zealanders even struggle, is actually they find it really hard to convey to people that they've got a vision and that's actually a really important part of running a business, is actually believing in yourself and saying, we can take this business to the world.